Hey guys, so the Spider Queen's finally back, and uh, yeah, she's changed quite a bit. I'm currently in fifth, I've done my hits, but I'll just go over what I've learned so far. So, yeah, apparently she's um, afraid of fire and all this shit. Honestly, I don't really see, you know, it says it does extra damage with um, fire but I don't actually see that when I've fought I've got five um, level 10 harbingers of fire and you know I do do well with them in better than without them in but it's not by much difference at all so apparently you do 20 you got to do 20,000 damage worth of fire damage to get a layer of some overflow damage buff whatever the fuck that means but yeah I mean if you don't have level 10 hoffs and you shouldn't you shouldn't make any I made them a long time ago just for the hell of it when I you know didn't have anything else to upgrade and yeah so I've done 65 million so I was doing about 20 21, 22 million. So I'll just go over what I did here. Again, you know, the Undead Warriors are the best damages even. And they don't do, you know, give off fire or whatever. So I've got my five Harbingers over here. They seem to help. They can do 20k damage. But they need to do 20k damage every three, every three seconds. Which level 8s just won't do that. But level 10s will. So if you don't have them, don't don't bother upgrading them. They're just, it's not worth it. So what I've found is, the Tara Switches are very good here. They actually automatically target the little spiders. So you don't have to worry about them as much. And yeah, uh, Pilgrims are a lot more useful than Brawlers are. So I just stack all my pilgrims in the middle because they tend to go to the sides anyway because they tend to, you know, go fight the little spiders. So one orc hunter is actually quite good. You know, if you've got a level 10 orc hunter, he'll actually jump, you know, right, right under the spider queen and he can um, absorb some damage. Some of the... Um, the blast so they don't hit your other troops I put Jin on the right if you put them on the left she tends to shoot this way more than she shoots that way so if you put him on the left he's more likely to die real quick he still dies pretty quick but you can keep him alive longer on the right don't put him in the middle he'll die real quick and yeah just the other thing is um, you got to time Jin's active so that he's not activating while she's in her cocoon state. So I find two actives, then hold the third active till she comes out, then hit it again, then hold the next active, and then once she comes out, hit it. So Jin's taken a shot there and he's died too quick. So that's not good. But yeah, you see the um, the Taurus which is actually, you know, without hitting this button, this target button, they'll actually target the little spiders, you know, naturally with their um, special skill. See, I might run this again because Jin did something dumb. He does something dumb all the time. He'll float, float into the middle and he'll die. So you just want to quit out of that and restart again. So generally you can, a 17 can get off two actives before you have to pause it. And third active. Pause it. Fourth active. Then you may as well let that one go. Oh, 
also um, doing his active manually, you know, at the start. You can actually keep him alive a bit longer. And it will actually help you do more damage. And we're going to die now. So, you know, completely different from how it was before. If anyone remembers, you know, they used to have the bomb spiders that would come from the back. But sadly, you know, Jin's, Jin's all you can use here. Everything else is, you know, all the other heroes tried to Edward, Arthur, they're just useless. And obviously necromancer skeletons, they're pretty, pretty hopeless. So I'm going to get rid of my harbingers. I'll show you something else. So you can put two swordsmen in the corners here. And they can actually, um, occupy the, um, little little spiders quite well I um, might just chuck in some you know shadow ninjas do quite well as well one active off two actives off hold the third active and then hit it now So yeah, Jin goes in the middle and he basically um, ends up dying real quick. In which case you just start over again. Yeah, but I definitely notice a difference without um, the Harbingers. I'm just going to leave his active on because I can't be bothered. So I don't know if you can see that there's an orc hunter that's right under the spider queen. Right under there. And he can be quite a distraction. And notice how the, um, the pilgrims naturally just go to the spiders. The little spiders. But the swordsmen are very good at combating the little spiders. So if you've got level 10 swordsmen, you know, put them in the corners there. Yeah, I don't get as good a score without the, um, the harbingers, but... You know, it's not that much difference. As you can see, the, the swordsmen do quite a bit of damage. A lot of it's not to the actual spider queen. A lot of it's to the little spiders, which don't... Which doesn't really count to your whole score. And your shadow ninjas do quite a bit. So I might just run that one more time. This time I'll just use three harbingers. And I'm not um, doing the active thing. So if you use fire troops, you know, um, you know, her cocoon goes on fire, but it still doesn't go away. You know, like it's still at the same eight seconds. It's just some freaking visual effect. You know, I don't. The difference between using harbingers and fire troops and and not using them you know there's not that much difference at all but anyway that's what I've learned so far 
you know, if you've got swordsmen, definitely put them in. In those corners there, they see how they they do pretty well um, fighting these little spiders. See that finally killed that one orc hunter that was under it. We're actually going to get a better score here than we did, I think, with the five harbingers, but. Yeah, I'll just show you that. So, yeah, the swordsman. And I've tried pumpkin guards, I've tried ice mages, they don't. I mean, uh, frost archers. They just don't perform as well. But yeah, anyway, that's just uh, what I learned so far. And yeah, it's pretty early in the day, you know. I haven't had much. You know, we'll know more, uh, you know, if we keep going with this game. You know, the worst thing about this game is um, the, these, these developers is just the lack of communication. Like, it's been six days and no word, you know. They're getting all this negative feedback and they just don't seem interested in addressing it like they think one statement they made six days ago is enough but it's not people are quitting people are leaving the game and yeah they they need to you know open their mouths and say something otherwise their game is gonna die Alright guys, thanks for watching.